Okay, so now we're in the last and final step. We're going to publish our photos to SmugMug. I do everything within Lightroom, so we are going to use Lightroom to publish these photos. So we have to go ahead and get Lightroom set up um, with SmugMug in it. I already have it set up here, but I'll help you guys get it set up. So go ahead and hit the plus button. And you're going to go down to um, go to Publishing Manager. And then you're going to click Add. Now you have to go to the website and download the Smug Mug um, publishing uh, service. And you can go ahead and add it to your Plugin Manager. So you click Plugin Manager and you hit Add. And you can go ahead and find that um, Lightroom Plug Mug and add it for you. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link there so you have that to add it. Depending on this video, the location changes all the time, but hopefully you'll be able to find it. And once you get it set up, you go back and hit done. And you're going to click on your smug mug, and then here's where you're going to go ahead and log in. So let's go ahead and add a new smug mug. Um, so I'm going to just name it whatever it is. So you can say, I'll just say my name. Let's say it's my, it's my um, personal smug mug. And then you're going to hit connect with smug mug. You're going to authorize it by logging in to your Smug Mug account. And then once you log in, just go ahead and log in here. And once you log in, then it'll come back and it'll look like, let me hit cancel, let's go back to the changes, save. It'll look like this, so it'll already be authorized for you. Um, go ahead and sync folders and galleries and sync comments. Um, the reason actually you don't have to have seen comments this what this does is it already sets up our system so you have it on your computer this is specifically for the career practicum students at asc but even personally you can have those selected as well you don't want rename and you want to include video files and i think everything else just leave it as is you want to make sure it's all metadata selected and go ahead hit save and hit cancel that and then what will happen is it will take a few minutes, but your photos will start to load like this. Um, so you'll have all the folders names just like this. So we're working in the 2017 year. I'm going to go ahead. Um, this is the school year and it's based on what the event is. So it goes by elementary, high school, middle school, and then it also goes by all school. So it's, if it's an all school event, it goes here. If it's portraits, it goes here. Um, since this is portraits, we're going to go ahead and put the folder inside the portrait set section. I'm going to hit create gallery. I'm going to call it choir. And the next thing that's really important is you hit the quick settings and you hit ASC download. That's very important because that allows everyone to download it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create. So that's doing just like the collections we just did. It's creating a folder inside the portraits folder. And then choir. Now one more step is you just hit the publish button and what this is going to do it's going to go ahead and publish it for you and put it online. And now how do you find those folders photos quickly? You just got to click off of that choir folder and click on to another folder. And when I click back the link to the choir photo will be there. So you can hit, hit the choir if you click this button it'll upload it'll load the photos into your web browser. So I'm going to go back up here, click this button, and it's going to open in the web browser for me. And if you look, the photos are there. And like I mentioned, we click those settings. And the way to check that you have those settings correct is you have this download button here. That download button's there. And it's correct. Now, another thing to be careful about is make sure when you're viewing this, you're not logged into SmugMug. You can see I'm logged into SmugMug. To check with your to check with your clients or the people who are looking at your photo see, you click on the right-hand side. You hit New Incognito Window. Um, ours are password protected. Go ahead and start that. And you can see the photos. So this is what my with the people viewing the photos see and you can see the download word arrows there. So you're all set. They can download the photos and it's ready to go. So that's smug mug for you. Um, and 
just when you sign up for the first step, when you add Smug Mug, remember we had to add it and you had to log in and set the account up. We ha just ask for the account login and you'll be able to do that right there. Have a great day. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully you're on your way to becoming proficient and a pro at Photoshop. I mean, excuse me, Lightroom.